TV TV. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Janice, yeah. And we are your CBTV TV anchors. For people who like to wish Austin, Jaden, and Chastity a very happy birthday, please come to the office to claim your birthday pencil after CBTV. Here's the question of the week. In what year was the first 500 win? Good luck, and remember to put all guesses in the orange box, Mr. Thompson. When will be announced on Friday, CBTV? Next, we have this week's movie quote. Can you guess this memorable movie quote? Whenever it tells me the odds, put, please put all answers in the blue box in Mr. Trump's room. A winner will be announced on Friday, CBTV. Next, we have solar today's weather. Look, look for an afternoon with the highs in the upper 80s. As the weekend rolls in, we will see a humid raise in the temperatures into the 90s. Make sure to hydrate this weekend. Tomorrow, we're looking at hot and humid temperature. This has become the hottest May in the record of Indiana. For City 2 Weather, I'm Sol. Back to you, Anchors. Don't forget to make sure to check out the lost and found before the last day of school. All items left over will be donated to the Caring Center. Great job to all students who participated in the Pinewood Derby. In the end, Nick came in third place, Maya came in second, and Brandon Johnson came in first. Great job to, to, great job to all involved. Next, we have Sydney, today's sports moment. Yesterday, it was announced that Indy native and NASCAR driver Jeff Gordon would be going into NASCAR Hall of Fame. Also yesterday, Tony Kanan, Joseph Newgarden, and Charlie Kimball took to the ping pong table to help raise money for the Serious Fun Children's Network. Fun was had by all. But the real fun will be this Sunday as they compete against each other again, doing 200 laps around the Motor Speedway. For your sports moment, I'm Cindy. Next, we have Mr. Tutsi in the studio for another Coach's Couch. All right, Bobcats, great to have you here for another installment of Coach's Couch. We have, again, some special uh, assistants and helpers and leaders. Uh, before that, just a couple of... Uh, um, public service announcements about our field day uh, tomorrow. Uh, make sure we're all wearing tennis shoes. Um, you know, you are going to get a little wet. You don't have to bring an extra change of clothes, but maybe a towel. Okay, it's going to be hot. Okay, we know that's good field day. And also, probably the most important thing, we're going to have great sportsmanship. Win or lose in the tug of war, we need to have great sportsmanship. Okay, and then um, finally. Tell your parents, I'm going to call them today too, is what tonight, if they are working, we will have their assignments when they check in tomorrow morning or afternoon. So I'll call everybody and let them know. So to the order of today, again, have a group of assistants from Miss Nealis's class. Um, and again, I'm going to say it for about the third time, the thing that has stuck with me most about the greatness about uh, Crestview is the number of students that want to help out. I think that is such a worthy uh, characteristic. So please tell us your name. We know you're all from Miss Neela's class. Kimberly. Jamira. Genesis. Abigail. Robert. And again, big shout out to Miss uh, Nealis for uh, help letting these students help me, but they earned it. Okay. All right, guys, tell us why you like to help. I like to help because fun. Okay. I like to help because I'm a helpful person. I like to help because um, it's just fun helping people. And I've got to give a shout out to Genesis and Laz. They've been with me from day one, and I really appreciate. And I'll have a little something for all you guys uh, next week. Um, I like to help because it feels good to like do extra sports, or because it's also fun to help and do like help little kids to reach, or or reach to PE class and help them. Well, and, and that's a great point. I've always thought when you help, you get more out of it than the person you help. It's kind of like giving a Christmas gift or getting one. Laz, what about you? Why do you like to help so much? Oh, I'm sorry. I like to help because it's fun, and I help kids figure out their problems. And you do a very good job. So does your brother. Okay. All right. Bobcat fans want to know what was the best thing that you got to help with this year, and I bet I know what Genesis's answer is, but we'll start with Kimberly. Tug of war, dodgeball, dodgeball, swamp ball, swamp ball. Swamp ball. I knew he would say swamp ball. Okay, finally, I'm going to ask Genesis and Lazarus this. Um, 
being a helper requires a lot of things uh, uh, that you have to do. What do you think the most important quality or trait you have that makes you such a good helper? Uh, I think that, like, you, um, at my, like, um, my teachers, they help us learn more about helping do stuff like that. Well, I definitely think you got to learn how to help. Laz, how about you? What's, what makes you inside, what character trait makes you such a want to help? Um, sometimes I like being nice, and sometimes I like helping kids that have rough days at their home, and I like helping their problems. Laz, very well said. Very well said. And as always, when we see these Bobcats, please congratulate them. And all the Bobcats that helped me throughout the year, thank you so much. We weren't able to do Olympics or Pacer tests if I wouldn't have had all that help. And, and tomorrow at the field day, I got more people helping me. So, um, again, congratulations, you guys. Make sure we thank them. And as always, we'll see you on the couch. Back to the anchors. Next we have today in history. Today in 1844, Samuel F.B. Morris formally opened America's first telegraph line. The first message was sent from Washington, D.C. to Baltimore, Maryland. The message was, what hath the God wrought? In 1878, the first American bicycle race was held in Boston. And in 1835, the Cincinnati Reds played the Philadelphia Phillies in the first Major League Baseball game at night. The switch for the floodlights was thrown by the U.S. Pres president, Franklin Roosevelt. Today, color today comes from Bob Dylan, who turns 77 today. He says, a hero is someone who understands the responsibility that comes with his freedom. Thank you for listening. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Genesia. Have a great evening. Take care of yourselves. They're responsible, respectful, and safe. I remember, remember to always find your voice in today's world. world.